Okay, we're uh, doing a resonance problem here. It's a follow-up to the previous one. Uh, so we have a set of strings that we saw resonated with our, uh, when we played a bass nearby, uh, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 hertz fundamentals. Um, for the uh, clarinet, uh, we're driving it now with a clarinet, which behaves like it has an open end and a closed end. So right, we start to get waves that look like this. And when we have mixed ends, what happens is that fundamental is still 75 hertz, but this is the third harmonic uh, because we skip the even harmonics because of the, the number of wavelengths we have here. We go from a quarter wavelength to three quarters, so we, um, we only have the odd multiples. So I'll have 75 hertz, and then the next one that the clarinet produces will be 225 hertz, 375 hertz, 525 hertz and 675 hertz. So this is the first harmonic, third, fifth, seventh, and ninth. So you don't want to consider 10 frequencies here when I tell you consider the first 10 harmonics. You want to consider uh, only up through the ninth harmonic because uh, harmonic is the uh, harmonic number is the multiple of the fundamental that the frequency is. So we want to see which of these strings would resonate when the note is played, and uh, none of these end in uh, 100, so actually none of them will resonate. Even though it's the same fundamental that the bass played, uh, it, was the, it was some of the overtones of the bass, uh, some of the even harmonics of the bass that was making it, uh, making it sound, and those are not present now. So the, the key thing is always matching the driving frequency to the natural frequencies of the thing being driven. They don't match here at all. None of the driving frequencies being produced match those of the thing being driven. So um, we will have no resonance.